for his grace upon each one of our lives we welcome you all in jesus name to hear the word of god and to receive his grace his love and his blessings in our lives let us pray father we come to you through the blood of jesus thank you father for loving us so much thank you jesus for your grace upon each one of our lives we thank you dear holy spirit of god for your continual help and presence in our lives we thank you for the gift of salvation we thank you for the gift of love we thank you for the gift of salvation we thank you for your chosen saints and servants of god in every nation we thank you for every mission in every nation we thank you for every missionary in every nation we thank you for helping each one of us to receive your love your miracles your blessings in our lives every fear every doubt every plan of satan be broken in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we are under the blood of jesus thank you jesus for your lordship in our lives thank you holy spirit for your help and guidance you are our teacher you are our helper we believe in you this is your time we are willing to be changed we are willing to be a blessing to the nations we love you we bless you in jesus name we agree and we pray amen shalom pray jesus for his grace upon each one of our lives dear chosen saints and servants of god we welcome you all in the name of jesus christ of nazareth to the school of discipleship today's topic from the throne of grace the rapture today's topic from the throne of grace the rapture i'm going to deal with few questions number 1 what are the prophecies concerning the rapture secondly what are the facts and manner of the rapture thirdly what are the two separate events of his coming fourth one what is the rapture what is the purpose of rapture fifth one what are the events after the rapture sixth one what are the qualifications for going into the rapture number 7 what is the blessed hope of the christians we are going to deal with all these aspects so we welcome you all in jesus name dear chosen saints and servants of god let me give you introduction we are living in the very last days of this age the prophecies which are to be fulfilled only in the last days are being fulfilled before our very eyes believers who are caught up in the rapture will meet our lord jesus anyone who is not ready to meet the lord now puts himself in a terrible delicate and a fearful position so what you and i need to do be ready to meet lord jesus christ praise be to jesus lord jesus christ is coming again into this world to take the church to be with him forever praise jesus what is the blessed hope of the christian what are the prophecies concerning rapture what are the prophecies concerning the rapture let us find out through the word of god with the help of the holy spirit John the Gospel chapter 14 verses 1 to 3 Don't let your hearts to be troubled trust in God and trust also in me there is more than enough room in my father's home if this were not so would i have told you that i am going to prepare a place for you when everything is ready i will come and get you so that you will al- always be with me where i am Amen When Christ Jesus was here on this planet earth he was explaining to the chosen generation chosen disciples let not your hearts be troubled trust in god also trust in me i'm going to father when i come back i will take you all to be with me praise be to jesus what is rapture the latin word for rapture means raptus The Latin word for rapture is raptus means caught away or caught up secondly the greek word for rapture harpazo 
the Greek word for rapture, harpazo, which means caught up. Dear chosen saints and servants of God, Christ Jesus is coming again, second time. First time he had come for every human being on this planet earth. Why Christ Jesus had come first time? To seek and to save the lost. Son of man came into this world to seek and to save the lost. That's what the word of God says in the book of Luke chapter 19 verse 10. Christ Jesus came to make sinner holy. Sin separated man from the presence of God, from the, from the love of God, from the power of God, from the garment of righteousness, from the garment of salvation. But thanks be to Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who had come first time into this world in the form of human being. Christ died on the cross for every human being. And he rose again after three days. Christ Jesus is alive. Because he lives, you and I shall live forever. Praise be to Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is coming again for the chosen generation. Christ Jesus is coming again for the saints in every nation. Christ Jesus is coming for the church, blessed church, dear children of God. The book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 13. While we look forward with hope to that wonderful day when the glory of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ, will be revealed. Amen. This is our hope. One day Christ Jesus is coming again and you and I will meet him. Praise Jesus. Dear chosen children of God, let me explain you what are the facts and the manner of the rapture let us read first epistle of paul to corinthians paul's first letter to corinthians chapter 15 verses 23 but there is an order to this resurrection Christ was raised as the first of the harvest, then all who belong to Christ will be raised when he comes back. Amen. It is our hope, it is our faith, dear chosen children of God. One day Christ Jesus is coming again. Everyone who is dead in Christ shall be raised. Secondly, everyone who is alive will be caught up in the midday to meet Lord Jesus. Let me tell you, you are a spirit. You have a soul, you live in a body. I am a spirit, I have a soul, I live in a body. The flesh and the blood will not inherit the kingdom of God. This body will not go to heaven because we are made out of dust. Therefore, we go back to dust. You and I are the image of God. Praise be to Jesus. Let us read. Paul's first letter, chapter 15, verses 51 to 58. But let me reveal to you a wonderful secret. We will not all die, but we, we will all be transformed. It will happen in a moment, in the blink of an eye, when the last trumpet is blown. For when the trumpet sounds, those who have died will be raised to life forever. And we who are living will also be transformed. For our dying bodies must be transformed into the bodies that will never die. Our mortal bodies must be transformed into immortal bodies. Then, when our dying bodies have been transformed into the bodies that will never die, this scripture will be fulfilled. Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? For sin is the sting that results in death, and the law gives sin its power. But thank God, He gives us victory over sin and death through our Lord Jesus Christ. So, my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord, for you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. Amen. 
praise be to jesus christ of nazareth dear chosen saints and servants of god let me explain you the facts and the manner of the rapture the flesh and the blood will not inherit the kingdom of god you and i need to understand you are a spirit you have a soul you live in a body our bodies shall change in rapture this body will not go into the presence of god the manner of the rapture the fact of the rapture when christ comes let us say right now christ jesus comes where does he come he comes into the mid air under the sun above the clouds when he comes what happens the heavenly host will be with him holy angels will will be with him the ark angel will be with the ark angel will be with him they blow the trumpet by the trumpet sound the dead shall be raised first the dead in christ from adam till now the dead in christ shall be raised first secondly everyone who is alive every believer from every nation who is washed by the blood of jesus christ everyone who believes in their heart that jesus christ of nazareth died on the cross and rose again after 3 days repents for their sins and believes in the word and be baptized in water shall be transformed into glorious bodies what does it mean this body will be changed into glorious body in a twinkling of an eye we shall meet lord jesus in the mid air it is called rapture when this rapture will take place no one knows it is also called secret coming of lord jesus christ dear chosen children of god lord jesus loves you so much he has a great plan for you and i This is the plan of God for you and I to meet Lord Jesus in the mid air and to be with him forever. All the living all the living believers from every nation will be translated into glorious bodies to meet Lord Jesus Christ. What a blessed hope we have in Christ Jesus. He loves you so much. Dear chosen children of God, This is what the plan of God for you and I. When Christ Jesus comes, there will be a beautiful atmosphere. When Christ Jesus comes, the heavenly host will be with him. Holy angels will be with him. I am waiting to meet Lord Jesus Christ in the mid-air. Are you waiting? Are you ready to meet Lord Jesus Christ in the mid air? If a believer is a pilot what happens he meets Lord Jesus in the mid air what happens to the aircraft it will be crashed what happens to the ship captain if the captain is a believer if the captain meets Lord Jesus in the mid air what happens to the ship what happens to the road transport drivers if they are believers when they meet lord jesus they are chosen saints and servants of god on that day when the rapture takes on this planet earth many will cry who are left out who are left behind it will be like a situation in the book of exodus chapter 12 when the spirit of death came in the book of exodus chapter 12 during the passover god delivered the chosen generation israel from egypt when an angel of death passed into egypt every firstborn was dead 
and there was a cry in Egypt literally physically they cried because there was a death physical death it was a situation similarly when rapture takes place when believers meet lord jesus in the mid air what happens people do not know what's going on there'll be confusion there'll be accidents there'll be physical death there'll be blood shed on this planet earth people do not know the governments do not know the scientists do not know no one knows the time no one knows the hour no one knows the day on this planet earth about his soon coming therefore what you and i need to do be ready to meet lord jesus christ of nazareth christ jesus loves you so much Dear chosen saints and servants of God behold i'm coming soon blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy in this book the book of revelation chapter 22 verse 7 says he is coming again very soon no one knows the time no one knows the day no one knows the hour you and i need to be prepared to meet lord jesus praise be to jesus this is the blessed hope as a christian that we need to have in our day to day life one day i'm going to meet lord jesus one day you are going to meet lord jesus christ of nazareth to receive the rewards and to be with him forever and ever praise jesus what are the two separate events of his coming dear chosen saints and servants of god rapture is secret coming second coming is a public appearance everyone shall see him that's what the word of god says in the book of revelation chapter 1 every eye shall see him physically christ jesus comes with the resurrected saints on the mount of olives physically it is called second coming of jesus christ there are two separate events secret coming is also known as the rapture rapture will take place before seven years of tribulation second coming will take place after the seven years of tribulation Second coming is to establish Christ millennial rule on this planet earth for 1000 years. The rapture is for the saints. The rapture is not for the unbelievers. The rapture is for the saints, for every believer, everyone who believes in Christ Jesus. Pray Jesus. What is the purpose of the rapture? Dear chosen children of God, what is the purpose of the rapture? Gospel of Luke chapter 21 verse 35 and 36. Like a trap for that day will come upon everyone living on the earth. Keep alert at all times and pray that you might be strong enough to escape these coming horrors and stand before the son of man. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Dear chosen saints and servants of God. The purpose of the rapture to separate the chosen saints and servants of God from this world. pray jesus the purpose of rapture number 2 to keep the rap to keep the chosen saints to be with him as he promised the purpose of rapture the chosen saints 
and the servants of God to be with him forever. Thirdly, the purpose you and I will be escaped from the tribulation. In simple words, to protect you and I from tribulation. You and I will not be on this planet earth during the time of tribulation. To save you, to protect you and to take you and I to be with him forever. Pray Jesus. John the Gospel chapter 17 verse Yes. John 17, Father, I want these whom you have given me to be with me where I am. Then they can see all the glory you gave me because you loved me even before the world began. Praise Jesus. The purpose of the rapture. Number one. To be with him forever. Secondly. To protect you and I from the tribulation that is going to take place. Thirdly, to give the rewards for every saint and every servant of God according to what he has done for the kingdom of God. Fourthly, to fulfill the promise in the body of Christ. Fifth reason, to fulfill the prophecy that Lord Jesus said, you will be with me. John the Gospel chapter 14 verses 1 to 3, he says, I'm going to Father, but I'll come back and take you to be with me. Praise be to Jesus. Do not be afraid. Do not worry about your challenges in life. Dear chosen saints and servants of God, I'm coming again to take you to be with me. That's what Christ Jesus said to his disciples. It was a prophecy. <coughs> Excuse me. Prophecies will come to pass during the rapture. We have a blessed hope to meet Lord Jesus Christ in the midair. He is coming again. Why Christ Jesus is coming again? To take you and I to be with him forever. Praise Jesus. He loves us so much. He has a great plan for the mankind. What are the events after the rapture? When the church, the blessed church from every nation meet Lord Jesus in the midair. What happens on this planet earth? Second letter to Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 7 and 8 will take place. For this lawlessness is already at work secretly, and it will remain secret until the one who is holding it back steps out of the way. Then the man of lawlessness will be revealed, but the Lord Jesus will slay him with the breath of his mouth and destroy him by the splendor of his coming. Amen. As soon as rapture takes place, as soon as church meets in the midair, Lord Jesus, on this planet earth, there will be seven years of tribulation that the world never seen such kind of pains will take place. There are two kinds of uh, sufferings. Sufferings for the unbelievers from God and for the left out believers believers who are nominal believers who are not ready to meet Lord Jesus in the midair the left out believers will receive the persecution from Satan 
so antichrist will start ruling from jerusalem he will be the ruler for 10 kingdoms 10 nations and he will execute his power his law his rule from jerusalem first 3 and 1/2 years there'll be normal tribulation after first 3 and 1/2 years there will be great tribulation after the 7 years of tribulation there will be armageddon war in jerusalem in a valley after the armageddon cried jesus will come back to the earth with the church with the saints it is called second coming of christ jesus pray jesus what are the qualifications for going in the rapture what are the qualifications dear chosen saints and servants of god the book of matthew chapter 16 the book of romans chapter 10 verse 9 and 10 if you openly declare that jesus is lord and believe in your heart that god raised him from the dead you will be saved for it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with god and it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved amen number one qualification that we need to have to meet lord jesus in the mid air is faith believe in your heart that Christ Jesus died on the cross and rose again after 3 days and repent for your sins secondly repent for your sins thirdly confess through your mouth confess your sins in the presence of God first book of john chapter 1 verse 9 But if we confess our sins to him he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. Amen. Christ Jesus is just and faithful to forgive each one of our sins. We are washed by the blood of Jesus. Do you believe in Jesus? Do you accept Christ Jesus as your Lord as your personal savior? believe and be baptized shall be saved john the gospel chapter 3 verse 3 and 5 says until unless you are born in spirit and in water you will have no permission you will not enter into the kingdom of god john the gospel chapter 3 verse 3 Jesus replied, "I tell you the truth, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God." Amen. Unless you are born again, you will not see the kingdom of God. What are the qualifications that we need to have to meet Lord Jesus in the mid air? Number 1, believe. Number 2, repent for our sins. Number 3, be born again. Confess your sins in the presence of God. and confess through your mouth by believing in your heart that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the lord of our lives number 5 be holy because he is holy it is written in the book of matthew chapter 5 verse 8 blessed are those who are pure they shall see god praise be to jesus christ jesus is coming again for the church dear chosen saints and servants of god he loves us so much he has a great plan for you and for your family do not be afraid do not worry about your situation 
in the book of revelation chapter 22 verse 12 it is written behold i'm coming soon behold i'm coming soon my reward is with me to give everyone according to the work that you have done praise jesus he is coming again he is coming again for the chosen saints and servants of god dear chosen children of god the book of matthew chapter 16 verse 27 For the son of man will come with his angels in the glory of his father and will judge all people according to their deeds. Pray Jesus. He is coming again to give us their rewards. The righteous shall receive rewards in the presence of God. The reward is waiting for you and I. for every good thing that you have done for the kingdom of god for the prayers that you have offered for the physical service for the spiritual service for the financial support that you have extended to build the body of christ everything that you have done to win souls for his kingdom there will be a reward dear chosen saints and servants of god he loves you so much he has a great plan for you and for your family he loves you therefore he forgives us he shows his mercy he shows his grace upon each one of our lives because of his mercy we are forgiven Christ forgives you and I from the from this world he forgives us he releases the gift of salvation salvation from sin salvation from the wrath of sin by his grace we have received the gift of salvation pray Jesus for the gift of grace John 3:16 For God so loved the world so he gave his only begotten son whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have lasting life Dear chosen saints and servants of God whoever may be you are wherever may be you are it doesn't matter how sinful you were it doesn't matter who you are it doesn't matter what kind of wicked life that you have lived in this past it doesn't matter if you come to him with the heart of repentance if you come to him and believe in Christ Jesus with all of your heart he is just and faithful to forgive us without faith it is impossible to please god he that comes to god should believe in heart that he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him he loves you he forgives you he cares for you when he comes he brings reward for everyone for what you have done for the kingdom of christ jesus this is what our blessed hope as a believer as a christian we have in christ jesus spirit of the lord is going to help you and i to have a mind of christ and to become like christ jesus let us be prepared let us be prepared to meet lord jesus in the mid air he is coming again let us get ready with the word of prayer let us pray father we come to you through the blood of jesus thank you father for you thank you father for loving us so much thank you father for sending your beloved son jesus christ of nazareth into our lives Thank you Jesus for your lordship in our lives. We thank you for your blood sacrifice on the cross of Calvary. We thank you for taking our sin, our curse, our place on the cross. We believe in our hearts Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the substitution for my sins. 
you are the mediator between god and man we thank you jesus we thank you for your blood that you shed on the cross the blood of jesus cleanses us from all sins let us repent for our sins in the presence of god let us confess our sins in the presence of god lord jesus we are sinners please forgive us i am a sinner please forgive me thank you jesus for your forgiveness we thank you for your blood that you shed on the cross we thank you for taking our place on the cross of calvary we welcome you jesus into our lives as lord as our personal savior let us invite him into our lives jesus you are the lord of our lives jesus you are the lord of our future we believe in your death we believe in your resurrection let us confess through our mouth jesus is the lord of my future i believe in his soon coming thank you dear holy spirit of god for helping us to meet lord jesus in the midair thank you for the blessed hope that we have one day christ jesus is coming again for the saints and we will meet him in the midair to be with him forever we love you we bless you in jesus name we agree and we pray amen shalom